Let me guess, you're a single parent, you don't got much time, you got lots on the go, you're always going, go, 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 taking care of yourself, taking care of your children, taking care of whatever's going on, you don't feel like you have time to meditate, you don't feel like you know how to meditate, you get frustrated with meditation, but in today's video, I'm gonna solve all of that for you, teach you how to meditate, teach you the most effective meditation, how to meditate, everything that you need to know about meditation so that you can get it in as a single parent, single father, and begin to feel better yourself and create more love and create a better family dynamic because of meditation. So really meditation helps you on all fronts and I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Ethan. I am a single dad to Lincoln Love. I've been meditating for seven years. Seven years consistently. I've meditated a lot and it's helped me tremendously. It's given me the space to really be present with Lincoln to really not be thinking, to really just be there. It helps me stop myself from freaking out or for blowing up on him because I'm irritable or I'm frustrated with myself. It helps me kind of understand him a little bit more and really, really connect with him and really be there with him. So it's helped me tremendously. And then in my own life as well, it helps me manage stress, it makes me feel excited, energized, loved and kind of deals and helps me when I feel overwhelmed. It kind of gets rid of that for me and I feel way less anxious. I feel way more at peace. I feel way more stillness. So there's so many benefits to meditation. So let's dive right into it. How do you meditate? Because a lot of people view meditation as like, you gotta sit in lotus pose, like you gotta have your feet crossed a certain way and you gotta go, ooh, and it's just kind of like sitting there. You see the monk, right? But that's not true. That's one thing that stops a lot of people from meditating is that they think that it has to be a certain way. But the truth is, is that however you do it, that's what meditation looks like. There's people who meditate laying on a floor. There's people who meditate sitting in a chair. There's people who meditate sitting in like a lazy boy chair or like this wicked couch. There's people who meditate in bed. There's people who meditate in a cave on a rock in lotus position. It doesn't matter what it looks like. That's the biggest thing that I can share with you about meditation. All that matters is that you're comfortable. That's where you start. Do whatever it takes to just get comfortable. Once you're comfortable, close your eyes close your eyes and a lot of people haven't closed their eyes for a period of time now this sounds crazy like closing my eyes what do you mean i'm just gonna close my eyes and just sit here with myself that's crazy but it's not just listen close your eyes and begin to breathe begin to focus on the breath going in and out of the nostrils going in your body and out of your body just focus on breathing in and out now it's going to be normal that you're going to have a million thoughts that come up about like oh i should think about the silver gorilla or i should think about like going to school this day or what i'm going to do tomorrow what i'm going to do right after this or what i'm going to eat for lunch or what's tomorrow going on or what well i should go to switzerland or i should kill that person over there there's going to be a million and one thoughts when you're caught up thinking in those thoughts all that you do is just return to the breath just thank you thank you that i was thinking those thoughts let's just come back to breathing and that's all that you want to do is just come back to breathing breathing in and out now there is no right or wrong way to meditate like i said before i used to get really frustrated when i used to be like oh i'm not finding stillness i'm thinking all the time i used to go 20 minutes in a 21 minute meditation thinking all of the time and only spending one minute not thinking and just focusing on my breath but over time I'm able to now focus on my breath way, 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 way more relative to how much I'm thinking. But that took me seven years to get there. So wherever you begin, that is wonderful. If your mind's going crazy, that's wicked. Think about it. How, whatever age you are, for me, I'm 27. I've spent 27 years of my life taking in thoughts, my brain being so disorganized, so overwhelmed, so stressed out, so all this stuff that it's kind of like this big pile. Like, have you ever had headphones and had the cord and you put it in your pocket, you come out, it's all tangled up? That's exactly how your brain is. We, with meditation, are looking to untangle it and make it neat, bring it into order. That's what it is. So you're going to have crazy thoughts going everywhere. The whole purpose is to coming back to the breath. That's it. That's how you meditate. So that's the most effective. Now, what I recommend for time, start with three minutes. Start with three minutes and do it every single day for one month. Three minutes for one month, that is it, that is all. Don't look at increasing, increase if you want to, but just sit for three minutes each and every single day for one month and then begin to up the time just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. If you're comfortable with three minutes, then up the time to five, then up the time to seven, then up the time to 10. Allow your curiosity to take you wherever you want to go. That's it. 
three minute. You can set a timer on your phone with iPhone or with the clock on Android. You can download a thing called Insight Timer, which is a guided meditation app. It's a meditation app, which is wicked. They have a timer on there too with some music. You can download that. Anything that just tracks that, hey, you've done it for three minutes and just make that intention. The thing with meditation is it's got to be consistent. You've got to be consistent with meditation. That is how you are going to see the benefits of meditation is be consistent. That's the biggest thing. I didn't begin to see results in my life until about 31 days of meditation, if not a little bit longer. So be consistent, meditate every single day and you'll begin to see the results of it. It's one thing that has honestly changed my life forever and has changed millions of people's lives all over the world. So if you have any questions on how to meditate, just drop those in the comments down below and I will answer them so easily. Any questions are around there at all, just drop it in. If you like this video, remember to hit like and subscribe. If you found a tremendous amount of value and look forward to videos coming in the future because there's gonna be a lot more videos like this that help you be a better parent because that is the whole goal is I wanna be a better dad, I wanna be a better parent. Not that I'm not perfect, whole and complete right now. I'm enough as is, I'm beautiful as is, much like you are. You are so perfect, so beautiful, just the way you are. And we always wanna improve and grow because why the heck not? That's what this life is all about. So, subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And that's really it on how to meditate. Saying that you don't have time to sit down for three minutes and stop everything that you're doing to just be is like saying that you don't have time to fill up your gas tank when you're driving your car. You're driving your car, roll the gas light turns on empty. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep going, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going for the rest of my life. Chug -a -chug -a and then all of a sudden it just shuts down and breaks down. That's what saying that you don't have time to meditate, that's exactly what it's like.